I really didn't know what to expect. I'd seen uh, some pictures in a, in a book that was made for the mission. Um, it wasn't exactly what I expected. Uh, there was no electricity, no running water. Um, and it was it was a little bit difficult. The first trip we went on, I think it was something like 115 <laughs> degrees or something like that. It was pretty hot, uh, uncomfortable. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it was... We were working hard and uh, doing what God has to do, and He, he got us through the, uh, the first trip. Um, but what I didn't realize is how much it would change our lives, um, how much it would impact um, our spiritual journey going forward after that first trip. That was one of the things that amazed us when we first went, was the how quickly the setup and takedown was yeah. getting the the pharmacy section set up the doctor section set up the intake section set up and everything was ready to go within about 15 to 20 minutes right a, a full clinic a full-fledged clinic that's right. amazing yeah, yeah. It's, it, on every trip you know the the, the doctors you, you expect the doctors to be the all-stars of every trip but it's usually somebody non-medical that's willing to put in the labor to move this or get that or, or whatever but uh, yeah everybody no matter what your background you serve a purpose on the trip right one of the parts i love the most is getting up in the morning sun's coming up we all eat breakfast together we all do a devotion together which is is amazing uh, and a small time of worship and then we get the clinic ready to go and people start arriving do an uh, go to the intake section and then they wait to see the doctors when the doctors get all the prescriptions written down they send it to the pharmacy section we fill the meds the people pick up their meds and uh, that's our clinic at the end of the the day when everyone's been seen we have uh, dinner and then we get ready for worship and that that's the best part of the day I think the biggest joy I had was on the last trip when I was able to lean over to one of the doctors and say uh, that one of the ladies was now a sister in Christ. I mm -hmm. think that's the biggest joy, is being able to see people come to Christ. As we spent uh, two or three years trying to figure out uh, how to get involved in medical missions, we, we, we spent a lot of time uh, looking at different things and then we just got to the point it's like we you just got to do something and you know I, I believe that this is a great organization uh, I believe there's a lot of preparation that go into these trips um, you know I, I, it's been going on for 30 years uh, I feel very safe uh, but you know at, at the end of the day you just you got to do it and when you do it, uh, God's going to just start opening doors all throughout your life. And the blessings that will happen to you and to people around you, you won't even believe it. So I think it's just one of those things you just, you got to do it and, and see how it impacts your life. Now I'm fine. All glory to you.